even worse, this is a really slow tournament. <laughs> so, if it goes well, that would be good. Hello, Smiley. Let's give this a go. Apparently the blind level increases are really slow, and they are, but they've started quite big relative to the blinds. So we've been dropped in the deep end, but then if we swim, in theory, we're going to be here for hours. again. Oh, king queen in the big blind. Interesting, interesting. Button sitting out. Hey, Elliot. It's somewhat special. I just decided to have a. <laughs> Seems stupid to even say it now. Short stream earlier.
Don't know why this sound came on then, sorry. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> rivered by a flush. Rivered by a flush when we were miles ahead. <laughs> uh, I guess I get to go to bed on time. I didn't even finish explaining to you, Elliot. Sorry. We'll see if we fight back, but uh, we'll probably just shove it in this hand. Whilst we got a suit today, so we're now short stacked. Um, so, yeah. Basically, yeah. I, I played a couple of $2 and a $1 earlier. The $1 qualified us to an $11, which is this. Oh, we've hit the two. Not a club. Could be a straight if the three. No, okay, okay. So we're now only kind of like two fifths stacked. Interesting. Um And yeah, if if we if we win this one, if we qualify from this one, we'd we'd play the hundred dollar Sunday million or equivalent of this Sunday. So it's it's worth trying to qualify, right? But it's only a ten dollar tournament. It's not that special. <laughs> um, but I, I just accidentally didn't check the time if I qualified from the one dollar of when it started, and um, and also I I expected that I'd be able to unregister from it and and play that tournament at a time of my convenience. Nope, <laughs> nope, that wasn't a thing. It was mandatory that we play it right now. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Tsunami who qualified with us earlier, but they've made a Similarly bad start. Saw so Jimmy say you're in uh, in Chalice this season, Elliot. That's super exciting, man. Good luck with that. Do you know when your next match is scheduled for yet? I just found out today. Not that it's anywhere near as important as as Chalice because it's just a minor, but um, if it's a very theoretical if, because I think I'm a pretty big underdog in the semi final. But if I get through my fumble minor semi final, I'm against. Uh, Um, Martin Septim in uh, in the final and his high elves with my black orcs. My my uh, my kind of bogey coach <laughs> over fumble last year or two would be al almost the ultimate comeback against the uh, the run of bad results if I were to win in the final against him. Don't hit the flop, and they bet into us. Okie dokie. Um, but yeah, <laughs> even getting the opportunity seems unlikely. I've got a really, really good coach. <coughs> Sorry. i got a really good coach on Necro in the next round, so I'd be very, very lucky to get through that. But but if I did, it's... Uh, oh, yeah, Yuri the Scourge. They're, they're pretty great, aren't they? Yuri the Scourge on Necro in the semi. It is these days, Regnan. I I've been to bed and got back up again for this. <laughs> That's how late it is, because <laughs> uh, we've just not been sleeping with uh, Zach teething all week. So very underslept. I'd I'd much rather have <laughs> not qualified for this in a way, but uh, I'm certainly not I'm certainly not going to just turn it down. Unfortunately, we're already down to two fifths of our starting stack due to getting a, a king queen. 
all in on the turn ahead of King Nine. Both had hit the king, but they had a flush draw which came in on the river. <laughs> I I wish I was having rest cap, but yeah, no no rest for the wicked, I guess they say. Three, four, five. We got an M of about six. She isn't crazy, crazy desperate. Short stacked, but it's not crazy short stacked. Wow, the King Ten player. Should we shove this because the big line's sitting out? Does that actually make sense? No. King Ten players accumulated an awful lot of chips quickly. Well, they, they were the one that doubled up off us, right? Ace five in the big blind. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! Picking off the uh, the weak button raises. Can't do anything with that, sadly. Twos will do though. Twos will do. Nope, twos won't do. <laughs> twos won't do. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Elliot. Sorry, not not doing a very good job of explaining that. Took me ages. <laughs> hey, good stop. <laughs> good to have you here, man. I'm glad it's comfy. It could be there. <laughs> The shortest route back to the stream in history, other than ones with technical issues. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought it'd be the World Cup qualification. Yeah, cool, man. Monday evening, thanks, nice. Yeah, I, I figured uh, you meant the World Cup. I couldn't think what else it would mean. I was trying to work out exactly what the W meant. Might be a little bit wide. Oh dear. Yeah, we're dominated. We've hit the nine. Ace on the river? No ace on the river. Alright, so... We're pretty much back where we started. We got badly, badly outdrawn not to get to 10,000 chips. From a starting stack of 5,000. And then we've outdrawn twice to get back to where we were at least. Yeah, thanks Elliot. Cheers, man. Uh, because I've never won a minor yet or a major on Fumble, I would I'd be very very pleased with a minor win for sure. But uh but no doubt that really really what I want is a major, right? Like, my my absolute dream would be to add to my chalice with a fumble major and a tabletop major. Think only k done all three. Nice to see k playing Blood Bowl 3 again. Yeah, Regnan sure is, man. In the first year, wow. Yeah, that, that must have been rough. But at least at least you got out of the way, obviously. Oh, flush is in. Poor ace jack. It was looking pretty good when the jack hit. And it all went south. Yeah, bad beat my way back into it, Hydra. <laughs> Stuck around, took my chances. Wow, that's a lot of clubs. That's a lot of clubs. Yeah, you should cap. 
All right, Seabet takes it. Nice. Another hand. Gosh, we can't get this guy to fold. He's so... Such a call station. Big blind says they fold. Oh, okay. We hit the queen. I think we take a card here. There's not too many cards that are bad. I guess a heart would have been. Yep, yeah, we'll we'll stay in. I think we I think we call the river. Yep, yeah, they did have the ace. Fair play. Maybe I could have folded the, the river there, but uh I think the call is fine. Could be wrong, but I want to say that generally speaking, the the solvers, the AI players that play like unexploitable poker, generally when they can, see a hand to the end. Because it means that they can't get bluffed off too often. They, they commit very rarely at the start, but when they do, they tend to try and see it through to the end. To, to oversimplify. <laughs> Oh, fair enough, Cap, then. If you just enjoy watching streamers and playing other stuff, then yeah, don't, it's not worth it, then. Don't don't worry about it. It's not for everyone. No, no type of game is for everyone, right? No type of game is for everyone. I want to buy myself a not-too-expensive retro game to play with one of my mates for my birthday in a few weeks. But I, I keep going back and forth on what... I think I want to buy a fighter. I haven't played a fighter in ages. I think I either want... Virtua Fighter 1 on the 32X or Virtua Fighter 2 on the Saturn or... Maybe Street Fighter Alpha 2 on the Saturn. I don't know. I don't know which. There's a more significant jump in the blinds this time than previously. And unfortunately we've gone back down due to that king-queen hand again. Not all the way down, but uh, we are short stacked once more. Got him of seven and a half. The ogre chalice win. We got the uh, what was it? We 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 won with ogres to qualify for blitz bit, and and even though that is in and of itself nothing, as far as like tournament results are concerned. That is one of my favorite times ever in Blood Bowl. Like, I, I think I enjoy stuff like that more than actually winning major titles with good teams. And so aggressive, but under the gun. I'll respect under the gun. Ah, oh, good luck, Ragnan. Um, advice for second baby. Um, you, you might be surprised how different they are. We we certainly were. Zach's almost been the opposite of Zelda in every sense. 
Um, and whilst it certainly is on paper more difficult because all the stuff that you did for the first one, you have to do that whilst managing the first one still, and they still very much need you. You'd be surprised how much that's compensated for by your experience the second time round. So don't worry too much. And now we're starting to have the benefit of having to in that, say, at this age we'd leave Zelda in the baby-proof lounge so we can wash the pots in the kitchen in the next room. And she'd cry because she's by herself. Zach's like, oh, my sister's here. This is fine. You know? So that's really nice. They like each other's company. Even though Zach's still very young and the age gap is too much for them to, like, actively play. Too much. They like each other's company, which is really nice. Yeah, good stomp. It, it's a good step in the right direction. And, and I really like that they relieved two teams at once. But yeah, Halflings and Goblins being in was a really, really good one. But yeah, man, Ogres, that'll be, that'll be something else. <laughs> Extremely... Oh, sorry, Casual Excessive. Yes. Casual Excessive, I made all the mistakes. I, I came on at all, despite the fact that I came on really late after very little sleep this week because of Zach teething. But I didn't want to not stream... I, I, I always try and say I try and come on Friday. So I was like, okay, quick stream. We'll, we'll, we'll do one. I'll enjoy it. I'll be keeping my word to chat. Let's do it. And I accidentally played and won a satellite tournament that I couldn't then unregister from <laughs> for a tournament now. So here we are. But yeah, I should have got on earlier. But Zelda came home late, and I bought her a coloring book. I'd been, I'd t I spent all day sorting through all my books. I got rid of 90 odd percent. I've, I've had my books for like 20 plus years. Never reread them, never even got close to rereading them. I was like, that's it. Oh, wow, Ace of the Kings. I'll just get rid. Took like nine huge bags of books to the charity shop. And whilst I was there, I bought Zelda a, a coloring book. So even though she came back really, really late, I sat and I coloured with her for like an hour. It was really nice. But that that then made me mega late for stream. <laughs> so then I just thought, quick, register for three tournaments, and then we're done. And then I qualified for something like <laughs> two hours later, and here we are. Two days in the bun. Let's see what the early positions do. Hmm. No, we're going to fold. We need to make our play at some point. Okay. Oh, well, this is absolutely classic us. We get pocket nines. That's going to be it. <laughs> I get to go to bed. <laughs> you know this is how this works. perfectly we have a razor that can afford to call us as well like it would hurt but it would be less than half their stack if they call us and lose no they do fold and then the person that called their raise folds as well wow okay decent pot decent pot for us there and the blinds go up No 
Newcastle Man City tomorrow. On paper, that could be quite a good game. It's the first Premier League game since Rodri got injured. It's a shame I wanted to play that. Um, but I'm just not... Despite them having some reasonable results, I'm not that convinced by Newcastle. They really didn't look good last week. They do have home advantage, though. On paper, missing Rodri should be massive. And it might well turn out to be, but i just got a feeling like someone will step up. They've got so many players that could take over that role. I think I think somebody will step in and do a good job. Is it Kovacic? Stones? Gundogan can drop back a bit. Rico Lewis. Like, somebody, somebody's going to step up and do well, I think. It'd be way worse to lose Haaland, not because he's necessarily better than Rodri. It's almost impossible to compare, isn't it, like apples and oranges, but I just can't think who'd step in because they got rid of Alvarez. Like, who, who on earth would step in if Haaland was out for the season? Have they even got a second striker these days? There must be somebody, but I can't think who. Gonna look at the Man City squad now. They just play a false nine. They gotta have somebody. Okay. Their squad of like 20 odd players, 30 players, what have you, on Wikipedia has Haaland listed as the only forward. Ha, huh, no way they've still got Scott Cast in the squad. That's so cool. Then they've got four academy players, no forward. Players out on loan. Keiki, on loan at Sparta Rotterdam. He's a forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Captain Excessive. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we've got an M of six and a half. Three minutes to the blinds cup again. We're not too bad until then, but when they do go up, the blinds will be hitting us. And obviously just the blinds going up in their nature means our M goes down. So we'll definitely have to play at that point. We can play tight until then. However, we have pocket sixes. Maybe we'll just pick now. We'll definitely pick now. Cool. Okay, that helps. How on earth does a team like Man City have one striker? That's absolutely bizarre. Why 
Like, Haaland's had injuries before. What? Really? What does City do? Now they've got rid of Alvarez. How have they not replaced him? blind in two hands time so under the gun next hand oh there's a TF2 avatar on the left that's nice what a great game that was oh. used to play the heck out of that in a house share Back in the day, 2009 to 2011. That and the, uh, the original Left 4 Dead games. Amazing stuff. I, I think you do a good job, Cup Successive. <laughs> Weirdly high number of draws. There's definitely worse things than that. Guess who defend this? The guy's been pretty loose aggressive as well. Oh, okay. Somebody else defends. <laughs> Not us then. All right, blinds up. Not a big blind, so that's nice. We have an M of five and a half. We really do need to start taking the blinds now. Attempting to shove that. No, we could we could afford to be a little bit more patient than this. Probably shove this. Nope, not anymore.
<laughs> yeah. There's, there's no redeeming quality to Renegades, really. Maybe if you can get all, like, block pro big guys, but then the TV's so big. I, I don't know. I, I can't really work out. I, 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 yeah, I just think Renegades are really bad. So, yeah, f forget them. OWA sounds better, because at least they could be pretty TV efficient. Depending on the format, if you've got time to build them, like if you're just building them in Black Box for a major, or if you're building them in Blood Bowl 3, and time is on your side, you can most of the team random strength skills really well and then once they've landed a good one you can just save for guard and it's pretty great oh, darn it I wanted to shove this everyone keeps taking my play away from me with 71st out of 77 <laughs> gonna be big blind pretty soon blinds up in 3 minutes Mine's going to beat Ace Queen. Yep. Sure do. Sure do. Alright. Big blind next hand. It's been a very quick 40 minutes. Break in just over 10 minutes time. And then... There'll be about 20 more minutes until late registration ends. It gets to the interesting point, but right now we're not interested in any of that because we are less than starting stack. The average stack is more than double hours, nearly three times. We need to make something happen. One, one double up and we can uh, start to care a little bit more about the situation in the tournament. Queen 10. This could be defendable. Yeah, okay. You know what? I think we could check shove this middle pair. Okay, now we got top two pair. Although if they're ace king, they've just hit the straight. No, they got the same as us. We both hit a full house. How bizarre. How absolutely bizarre. Oh, I quite like this ace nine. I sort of don't anymore. I mean, they've played so many hands. I'm struggling to justify calling this though, to be honest. Blinds probably up next hand, unless this goes very quickly. We'll real assess our M. The thing is that, that it's hard to even imagine building by picking skills a good Renegades team value for TV is the thing. So they almost have to random <laughs> to get anywhere near a decent value for TV team. <laughs> They're so bad. We might just need to shove this, to be honest. We've got an M of four. Oh, no, I'm just going to shove. 
Do we get through the big blind? Yes, we do. That is a lifesaver. Into King Jack so we can shove again if Judah gets out of the way. Judah doesn't get out of the way. Darn. Oh, is this going to be action? The loose, aggressive doppelbanger shoves all in on Judah. Last time they had nines and called. This is an undergun raise as well. They find the fold. Wow, okay. Right, our turn to be under the gun. We'll let that go. We got to a very full-handed table all of a sudden. Eight players. Our big blind next. Got an M of just under five. So we do, once the blinds have gone through us and we're going to be even lower than that, we really, really have to find a spot to blind still. Even if it's just like, gets to our button, nobody's raised. Shove. Yeah, there's a lot of dice in Vamp Scout. I used to enjoy him in Blood Bowl 2 pre-kids, but I don't want to think that hard these days. <laughs> they're, they're in my last remaining squad to build in... Uh... Black box trophy and I'm kind of dreading it. And one of the other teams is an elf team, and one of the other teams is Skaven. I don't mind Skaven so much, I guess. Oh, I was really hoping someone to go with the king in this big blind. We might have to let this hand go and then let's try and get lucky. Oh yeah, new Norse is pretty cool. It's a little bit difficult to know how to build New Norse, but once they get going, very, very nearly won my league uh, on tabletop. Just over a year ago in New Norse. They do very, very well on Black Box Trophy. If this folds to us, we'll shove. Can't do anything if someone comes in first, though. Yes, we shove this if it falls to us. I think we're that desperate. Judah loves shoving ahead of us, though. No, not this time. Okay. Okie dokie. Doppelbanger, who has been pretty loose, folds. They like, to, they like to be the one raising, though, Doppelbanger. They do like to be the one raising. Okay, that helps a lot. That does help a lot. So back to the M of five. Treading water for now. We have somehow made this short stack last and last for that. That isn't going to last forever. We're going to have to get lucky and double up at some point.
three, two. Probably not what we're looking for. Or tenders. Blinds up in a minute. Quite a big jump as well to 400 big blind. Nope, 10-3 off suit, not going to cut it. So we're hoping that the big blind doesn't go up on us. A limp doesn't help. We wanted a raise. But instead, are we getting three to the flop? We are. Darn it. Okay, at least we get a raise on the flop, and... Going down to the wire. Just in time. Okay, blind's not up on us. 7-3 suited. Maybe we could defend this. It does hit some flops. Let's see if anyone re-raises doppelbanger. Oh, it... Goblins just lose lucky or bad luck, really. <laughs> like <laughs> Goblins are pretty much the worst team in the game. T Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings can certainly win ma some matches. Ah, oh, drat. So close to either having a straight draw or a flush draw. We managed to get neither. Wow, okay, there's our flush draw. We'll shove it in. And they fold. Wow. Was not expecting that. We are nearly back to starting stack. It is half average stack. And the blinds have gone up. But better situation than I was expecting at this point. 60th out of 74. Break in a couple of minutes. Go on. We've got an M of 5. There we go. Somehow, some way, we are over starting stack. Was not expecting this. <laughs> Sounds good. No, sorry, I didn't see. That's great. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, Global Happiness Poker. Hey, man. Oh, you're very welcome. Sorry sorry you had a rough session. Um, I I wanted an extremely quick session um, earlier, and I didn't do my due diligence and check one of the satellites for, for what it was registering to and when. And so I've had to get back up and uh, and, and play this uh, play this tournament. But uh, we've managed to fight back. We got we got uh, outdrawn like second hand or something. <laughs> Down to 2,000 chips from 5,000 start. We've managed to fight back to starting stack. So we'll see after break. Thank you so much for being here, man.
And uh, yeah, you do some great streams. I'll, I'll definitely raid you some more in the future when I see you on. All the best. And sorry, sorry it was a rough one today. Goodness knows we all have those. To make a decaf tea this late? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll go work it out. See you in a second, Ron. Woo! Time in five seconds to go. Ah, oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, mate. Fingers crossed. Oh gosh, do we shove this. M of just over five. Three days. Oh, this is borderline. A limp. 
I really don't know what to make of that limp. They've played a crazy amount of hands so far. Like five out of six played. Sure. Let's. I think that adds value to the pot. I think that adds value to the pot. Let's shove it. Even if they call us, I suspect we're ahead. Nice. Ah, oh, thanks so much for the, the raid back, man. That's amazing. Welcome, global happiness poker viewers. My apologies, this, this isn't uh, my normal stream. I, I qualified for this tournament earlier. I would have ended earlier. Uh, but I didn't really check when I was qualifying for and I couldn't unregister it. And uh, I'd normally be a bit more a bit more awake and bubbly, but... Uh, my, my one-year-old son has had four teeth come through in the last week, and we're all rather sleep-deprived in the household right now. So, <laughs> doing my best. Doing my best. But great to have you here. Try and stream uh, Friday and Sunday evenings poker. I, I used to be and, and still do some uh, Blood Bowl streams. That's uh, another real tabletop board game that has uh, an accurate PC conversion. It's uh, gone back to the, the poker as well. Oh. No, I can't. Can't defend for 400 chips. It's so much of our stack. And they've been a pretty tight player. Some of the players have been crazy loose aggressive, but Tavaparu has been pretty tight aggressive but they have done back to back hands now they might have just had back to back monsters oh king queen on the river Four pocket eights. Ace Jack. Okay. Legitimate hand. I think I say legitimate hand. It's crazy to let this go, but I've got a feeling it's right. Blinds up in two and a half minutes. Committed here, so we'll let this one go. A little bit of action, quite a lot of action. So the big stack has nines, and they've hit a nine. Open ended straight draw and a flush draw. None of it comes in. Two players down. We're not short of players. There's still 68 in the tournament. In 15 minutes time, late registration ends, and we can see exactly how many places. Right now it's 20. Wow. It's going to be at least 20. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If we could double up, I'd get pretty excited about that. But <laughs> There was 153 people in this tournament. We're down to 66. People can still enter, but I think we're losing more than we're gaining now. Net. We just don't have the chip stack. There is no chip stack, and there never was. We so nearly doubled up with King Queen versus King Nine until they rivet a flush. <laughs> so nearly. It's been a been a battle since then.
Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Oh, pocket eights. Okay, nice easy shove. Even though we're under the gun, it's a fairly short-handed table right now. We've got a couple more players joining us for next hand. We get caught. We're going to be crazy short-stacked if we lose this one. Hopefully, we're ahead right now. Oh, dear. Double call. We are ahead, but the ace comes. Despite the fact they both had the ace, we need to river an eight. We don't. We were the big stack, though, by a tiny, tiny bit. We're basically all in big blind next hand. Big blind and ante. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it's quite the fight back now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame. That was quite a nice spot against two aces. Uh, ace high hands, pocket eights. Darn. <laughs> One of them didn't even have a kicker above the eights. Man. Nearly, nearly. That that would have been a kickstart to the tournament, wouldn't it? My goodness me. What a stack we'd have been on to try and push into the top 20 from there. Can we pull off the miracle? There we go. We are all in with the ante and the big blind. Immediate raise. I mean, that could protect us. Nope. A caller. <laughs> we want to get, like, heads up here, but that isn't happening. We're going we're gonna to have to hit big with 4-3. That's not happened so far, right? Give me a five on the turn. Let's go for that runner straight. Come on, baby. Oh, dear. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Five. <gasps> runner straight! <laughs> Wait, we're still only on... We're still only on 2,300. <laughs> I can't believe we hit it. I actually can't believe we hit it. Okay. We'll fold our small blind as the action goes crazy once more. Look at these hands. What is going on? Oh my goodness, we'd have hit trip fours. I should have gone in. No, I shouldn't. We'd have lost to a flush. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We just... We've desperately, desperately, desperately got to get a hand. We've got less than an M of two. It's awful. But everybody's going crazy every hand. I can't believe we're even still in. <laughs> That's so funny. Ace. Jack looking super good. Takes out two. Again, if we had a stack, that would be amazing news. We do not have a stack. Guess we just show. Oh, gosh. Start it. <laughs> let me Let me show. Let me have some fold equity, please. Oh, okay, it's a much better hand than last time. Excellent. Right. And the we'd hurt the big blind is the important thing. They can't just casually call us. Good. The big stacks have gone. Ah, oh, darn it. Right. Okay, we've got to outdraw. Come on. Oh my goodness, we're actually ahead. Oh my goodness, we've hit. We've got a full house. <gasps> we're back to starting stack. How has this happened? How has this happened? We've got an M of over four. Four and a half. I do not know. Right. Big blind next, though, which obviously isn't great. I I just don't understand poker sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> poker is so stupid. Wow. Oh, opening this straight draw, though, for the ace-10. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. So out goes the ace-10. King Queen, please fold round. Please. Oh no, they've raised like a third of hands. A third of hands. They just had what? Queens. Twos. Got 47 seconds in the time bound. Let's make sure that's going. I'm trying to see if they've shown anything else. No. Third of hands. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe we just go for this. Oh, they're so tight. I just no, I can't I can't not. We're so short stacked. I've just gotta yeah, I gotta gamble this. Oh my goodness, we're dominating King Jack. We both hit the jack. Come on, baby! We finally make the ten thousand stack. We finally make the 10,000 stack. I was unlucky there, Global Happiness Poker. Thank you. <laughs> Just wait for the next four minutes. 
<laughs> oh boy. I can't quite believe it. I don't know what you'll think. <laughs> Not that we're anywhere near through or anything yet, but uh, we are 30 second. Eight minutes to go till late registration ends, and at the very least, 20 places getting into the $109 Sunday evening. Miracle five. Absolute miracle five. Jack eight. Not quite going to cut it. What have we got an M of? M of nine. Okay. And then big blinds hit us. Yeah, Dementor, right? <laughs> that, was, that was a little lucky global happiness poker. <laughs> that was a little lucky. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, poker sometimes. Ace eight? Yeah, for short enough stack shoves, it is the short stack. Oh, they've been really tight, though. Ugh, what a decision. Under the gun shove. Okay, and there's a call. I guess this is a tight fold. Oh, should have called. Okay. Well, we'd have got rivered by, by Jack-10. So I guess that's good, but looking at the hands, it was a call. Right. I guess maybe ICU says it isn't. Okay, trying to pick our spot. M of 8. Actually not in a crazy rush is the weird thing. Not in a... I'm, I'm so used to being in a rush in this tournament. It's really, really bizarre that we've got a playable stack all of a sudden. Pocket 2s. We could shove this. We could shove this if nobody else plays. If somebody else plays, I think we've got to let it go. Or maybe we could shove over the top. Hmm. No, okay, no, not if they shove. Yeah, good, good shove. Takes away our play. <laughs> right, Dementor, right. Well, this has been an absolute roller coaster, Dementor, because twice we should have legitimately made a big stack, and twice we've had to, like, bad beat our way back into the tournament because we got outdrawn. <laughs> The fact that all of those, like, basically the fact that the worst hands have won every time, including our own, is just bizarre. eight now and the blinds have gone up for next hand so that's going to come down again still only about half average stack that's okay it is playable compared to the blinds that's what really matters ace king versus nines nines looking pretty good saying that the four would be the straight no four no ace no king pocket nines take it that half stacks player to our left ace jack easy shove let's see if someone wakes up with a monster this could be a tilt call i am worried by this call i'm very worried by this call but they did just get half stacked yeah dominating jack queen there's the queen but we've hit the ace another queen oh my goodness <laughs> what is this <laughs> what is this all right this hand of the next let's go with the next because it doesn't get much worse than eight deuce offsuit. Oh, dearie me. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What a shame. 16,000 plus the 1,300 we had left. Dearie me. We'd have been so close to uh, 
making it if we'd won that part. <laughs> well, we're really going to test it now, Hydra. All right, let's put that Mithril to the test. Hopefully this is fold, fold. We get isolated. We've got live cards. That's the best case scenario. That is the scenario. They haven't hit yet, but neither have we. Need a river card. Oh my goodness, we hit the river card. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is absolute insanity. Okay, we've got an M of two. We've got king nine in the small blind. And the first two players have folded. Oh, this is... Oh. Do we try and ride our luck with king nine? And a call? Oh, gosh, I'm just losing the plot. I don't know. I'm not going to get them to fold. I'm not really going to get anyone to fold. Let's go into the time bank. The antis are 75. We could, we could pick a better spot. Yeah, okay, we'll pick a better spot. So king nine would have been up against queens. Cool. We'd have hit a nine. Queen's hold. Ace, deuce. Well, if this folds around, this is 100% a shove. We've got an M of two, which is terrible. In rains. No. No, no. We'll wait for a better spot. We've gone till the big blind. I think we're pretty committed when the big blind hits us. The nice thing about next hand is we hurt the big blind stack if they call. Which is pretty important. So I might want to shove any two if this folds to us, to be honest. I think we almost certainly do. And we get to make that play. And it's not absolutely terrible, 9-7. 9-7 can do work. We do get the blinds. Oh, my. Oh, man. This tournament is the most bananas. What a time to raid me. Global happiness poker. <laughs> like, I know poker. We all know poker can be a roller coaster. This is the craziest roller coaster <laughs> I've been on in years. <laughs> hey, Blake's Awesome to have you here, man. It goes fine. It's, it's neither amazing nor terrible, but... The current tournament, I have not seen anything like this in a very, very, very long time. <laughs> we cannot win when we're ahead. We cannot lose when we're behind. Right, we've got an M of three. I, oh, this, yeah, okay. I think this is the correct shove, but it feels bad. It feels bad and it could be it, but I think this is the correct shove. Yeah. M of three is so small, just just to be clear. So we're going to have to outdraw King Queen. We've got life cards. They haven't hit. Neither have we. Clubs. Clubs would do. It's a club. It's a club. I Honestly, I just, I can't. I, I don't even know. I've run out of stuff to say. How many, how many ways can you describe the, the hand that's behind rivering? Um, I, I've run out. I've run out of ways in which to say it. Okay. <laughs> this is so bananas. <laughs> so utterly bananas. Back to 8,000 <laughs> from a few hundred for the second time in the tournament. <laughs> Almost for the third because we went down to 2,000 at the start as well. If you include that, there's three times we've been mega short stacked and fought our way up to back to a big stack. <laughs> oh, man. It's absolutely almost unheard of. I think this is a three bet shove. I think this is a three bet shove. And I think they'll fold. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. <laughs> Come on. Into a suited ace that we can we can open shove if it folds to us. Try and take that one thousand nearly one thousand five hundred in the pot every time at the moment. Lines up in a under two minutes. Yeah, good job. Okay, takes it off us. Takes it off us. Oh man, what on earth is this roller coaster deluxe? <laughs> this is this is a roller coaster simulator stream, not poker. Just just to be clear. 
right there. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I've lost the plot. I'm already up way past my bedtime. I, you, you were right, Hydra. This is this is a mithril thread. If I could always have this, I'd be a happy chap. Yeah, cut off with an ace. Nice, nice. 12,000, baby. 12,000. Get rid of the door, Brunson. Thanks, Anoop. Thanks so much, man. <laughs> yeah, Tometo, yeah. <laughs> Nobody take any lessons from this, please. <laughs> Enjoy the entertainment. But please... Please, nobody <laughs> try and learn any sensible poker from the ongoings here. Snooze the ads because I do not want you guys to miss <laughs> the next five minutes. Right, ace queen versus king ten. King ten hits. Ace queen doesn't get the river. There goes another player. We're down to 52. We've got jack eight in the big blind. And late registration has ended now. Let me just confirm that it's 20 seats. It is. It never got past the guaranteed seats. So we're getting some extra value probably in this tournament. Um, 52 players left. 20. Going to be in the... Well, I'm calling the Sunday million because it's the $109 tournament at 5.30 Sunday evening, which is effectively what the Sunday Million is. But actually, it's just, uh, it's not, not being called that this week. It's one of the World Championships of Online Poker Tournaments. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see what these chaps have. Ace King dominating King Jack. No Jack on the river. In fact, it's the Ace on the river. And that's another player down. This would be a shove. Blinds have gone up, by the way. We've got an M of just over five. It is a shove. Jack-10 suited. They fold trash. Fantastic. Back to 12,000 we go. New player joins us on our left. King-9 suited. This would be a shove as well. Not anymore. Got to let that go. I should probably be running the timer, should I? I don't know. don't know if I've got a good enough stack to run the timer. Maybe you should run the timer anyway. I don't honestly know. Wow, we'd have had the nut flush draw. But if anyone has the ace, we're still a big dog. If we were in, theoretically. <laughs> yeah, global happiness poker, honestly. <laughs> no, right? I'd, I'd love to be like, yeah, global happiness poker viewers, this is uh, what always happens here. <laughs> But no, this is absolutely bananas. <laughs> we normally have very standard, very mundane poker. <laughs> Maybe not quite that extreme, but nothing like this. Nothing like this. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, two-fifths of the remaining players will qualify for the $109 tournament Sunday evening. We're currently 30th, so we're outside of that at the moment, but not by loads. Not by too much. We have an M of over six, six and a half. So we're not too desperate just yet but when the blinds go through us and certainly five minutes when the blinds go up if we haven't made any progress by then we will be desperately blind stealing once more and unfortunately for us the, the two stacks to our left are quite a bit bigger though we we, could, we take some chunks out of them don't we certainly lids got almost half lids this stack kings has to redraw versus ace jack big blind next hand
Oh, whilst I have, I finally, I always said I was going to like do some edited YouTube videos. Uh, and so for Global Happiness Pokers viewers, uh, I will link my first, as released last week, edited YouTube video. It's just of a $1 tournament I played, but I think it's quite fun. So, just check out the first 10 seconds. If you don't think it's going to be your thing, no problem. But uh, hopefully some of you enjoyed it. Thanks, everyone. Thank you again, Global Health for this Poker. Honestly, it's, uh, it's been really, really nice having the raid for this madness. It would have been a shame, too, because this is outside of my normal streaming hours these days. If I'd, uh, if I'd had no one to, to view this, that would have been sad times. Yeah, that's a shame. I was really excited by the limp because we got a hand that hits flops, but uh, we get taken out. Oh, gosh. Player we're shoving into has shown that they've called a lot. So <laughs> three two, all right, man. Of all the hands, three two. I don't think we could do it. Ace three, we could do it. If this falls round, we can do it with ace three. But three two, and also I don't think we'd really shown that we were able to fold in that situation yet either. So hopefully, if people are paying attention, that buys us a little bit more respect next time we shove. Two minutes till blinds go up. Hmm. Cheeky chuffy fly. Guess this is a fold. Just got the time to try and wait for something legitimate before we steal. Easy fold of the King 4 offsuit. Hoping to hit something in the next few hands, but uh, if not, Big Blind will be up by the time it's on us. And then after that, we're just going to have to go crazy. Excuse my time, Dad, break, because... <laughs> So things finally chilled out a bit whilst we wait for something to happen. All right, blinds up now. Two hands until we're big blind, unless someone joins on the right of the table. That's certainly not the one we're going to go for.
very dry blob. Bass makes a very small continuation bet. Chavel stays. Interesting hand. Interesting hand. Oh, check, check. Has the bass finally shown weakness? Will Charbel take it? No. Still checking. And yeah, they had the king. They were happy to check call that down versus, yeah, 10 2. 10 2. And they've got the cheek to throw the, the trash emote. All right, we're going to fold this one. It's not quite strong enough. King 7 offsuit under the gun. Big blind next hand. We're prepared to let that go as well, even though it's a 10th of our stack. And then after that, we uh, we need to go nuts. We are the short stack. We are less than half average stack in the tournament. Oh, wow. Ace-king versus ace-queen. No queen. Are we going to lose the ace-queen? Yes, we are. Okay, and with that... Oh, we've been moved table. The blinds have skipped us. Oh, baby. The blinds have skipped us. <laughs> Miracle. All right. More than half the remaining players will get a seat. Unfortunately for us, we are not in that half right now. We could do the double up. And then we could consider that uh, that might be us. There's some very, very short stacks at this table. We've got to be careful about blind ceiling whilst they haven't acted. Especially the, uh, the 2,500 stack, my word. Thankfully, they are acting before us. Oh, this is not the hand we wanted, but we got an M of four. Okay, taken off us. Not absolutely good, I must admit. The blinds did miss us as well, didn't they? So all we're doing is paying the ante over and over again. Which we can just about live with. Surprising amount of action on this hand. Three players to a flop. And there was two. The initial razor. Called razor. I was, I was really throwing my tired brain off then. Like, the, the razor's called razor? <laughs> oh, ace 10. Bluffing all the way. Losing to pocket 10s. Ouch, man. Is this our time to shove with ace 4? It might be. Okay, no. <laughs> the short stack goes. Fair dues. Fair dues. They had two at some point. But yeah, we'd have hurt, like, the big stack couldn't go with us here, which is why I was thinking that might be our time. Uh, unless they really had something, obviously. Like, we really, really hurt them. They couldn't just casually call. We had two-thirds of their stack. And also ace-4 in the, in the hijack. Not absolutely terrible by any means. A limp to the short stack big blind. That is an odd play. Short stack just checks and checks the flop. And the call station checks back. And the short stack min bets. <laughs> and the call station calls. And a min bet again. And a fold. Wow, well done, short stack. Not so short stack anymore. We have not got a legitimate hand, unfortunately. In the longest time, we are absolutely desperate for anything. Big blind next hand. It'll still only be a thousand. I say only. It's more than a tenth of our stack, plus the ante on top of that. Certainly, once uh, once that hand's gone, we're just going to have to desperately blind steal. Unless we get moved table and miss the blinds again somehow. <laughs> even then, even then, we, we're getting to the point where we have to desperately blind steal regardless.
Oh, Queen Jack offsuit. Would love to see a flop. Not going to happen. This is... We wanted this in a different hand, really, where we could shove it. <laughs> this is certainly good enough to shove if it falls around to us. Big if, though. Very, very lucky when it falls around to you in the small blind. Generally, people are going to try and... Especially these short stacks are so desperate, unfortunately for us. Yeah. Take the play away. Lenny Silly, Lenny's Lily might call this. They've been a real call station, and they do. Wow, they got ace ten. Sorry, it's an easy call. To cows looking in terrible, terrible shape. That's another player down. Fourteen players left to go out, but we are one of the bottom three stacks in this tournament now. That's how bad it is. This would be a shove if Salmon Catch folds. This is a shove. They're one of the few stacks shorter than us, though, so they should be shoving. They do shove. They take the play off us again. Uh, it's a shame because, again, the big blind can't just casually call us. Dariu might be able to, you see. So if we try and bluff the shove on the cutoff next turn, Dariu might just be like, well, I've got the chips to call. I'm calling. Kings versus ace eight. The ace eight in a lot of trouble needs to river the ace. And they do. And they do. Okay, then. Never mind. Huh. The worst hand, rivering. Who'd have thought it? Our turn to shove, because Queen 9 is the best hand we've seen in ages. Come on, baby. Oh, no, not Lenny's Lily again. They call, like, 50% of hands and they call us. No, just can't get anything past them. Ace, King, fair dues. We pit the Queen. Oh, they've hit the Ace. Oh, they redrew us. Man alive. What a tournament. Well, I tell you what, that was that was some fun. That really was some fun. Um, huge thank you again to Global Happiness Poker. Um, I will be back Sunday evening. Um, so hopefully see some of you then. And, uh, and I'll try and catch uh, you Global Happiness Poker viewers in his stream. Because he does an awesome job. I love them. So uh, yeah, see you then everybody. Thank you so much. Woo!